I'm a data analyst with six years of experience working with large, complex data sets, and yet here I am telling you that you should not become one. And here's why. You don't have to be a data analyst to be great at working with complex data sets. Your only and ultimate goal doesn't have to be, and probably should not be, becoming a data analyst, but rather to learn new applicable data analysis skills, knowledge, and techniques that can help you speed up your career growth and advancement. Today, I'll give you some practical examples highlighting how you could utilize the power of data irrelevant of what your official job title is. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mo Chen, and I currently work as a data and analytics analyst within the financial services industry. It's really hard for me to think of a job nowadays where you're not involved in working with data in some way, shape, or form. Whether you're a financial analyst, a business analyst, or work in a role completely non-related to data analytics, you probably still use spreadsheets and other tools to capture information and to do some basic analysis on your data sets. Of course, I'm not saying becoming a data analyst is bad. All I'm saying is that the emphasis should be on learning new data analysis skills that you can actually apply in real world settings, rather than solely focusing on landing super specific data roles like data analyst, data scientist, or data engineer. I mean, come on, just look at how many positions there are where the official job title says data analyst, and then look at how many of you want to become data analysts. I don't want to discourage anyone, but chances are you will not become a data analyst which is absolutely fine. Data analyst is nothing more than a job title. A status symbol, I dare say. Job titles don't matter. Skills do. Now, with all this said, let me just dive deeper on why I think your ultimate goal doesn't necessarily have to be and probably shouldn't be to become a data analyst using some real life examples. First up, Let's say you're a business analyst. Your job is to bridge the gap between data and business strategy. You're already great at identifying opportunities for streamlining processes and um, driving decision making within your team and your wider organization. Fantastic. You're in a good place and you have some great BA skills. Currently, you do all of your data analysis work with Microsoft Excel as it's the go-to tool in your data analysis toolkit. All right, so now imagine if you learned a popular visualization tool like Tableau or Power BI to create even more engaging visualizations and dashboards. You'd be able to develop even more compelling data stories and get that crucial stakeholder buy-in. Obviously, you can still do all of your data cleaning and manipulation and wrangling in Excel, but to take it to the next level, you'd create the final visual outputs in your chosen BI tool to really impress your audience. You could, for example, leverage your existing Excel knowledge and combine that with your new visualization and storytelling skills to influence business decisions even more. Sounds pretty good to me, right? Now, it's no secret that domain knowledge combined with technical know-how is a killer combination for a successful, long-lasting data career. I talk about this all the time. I highlight this week in, week out in my videos, on my posts on LinkedIn, and anywhere else on social media where I'm present. I have a whole module dedicated solely to domain knowledge across the most popular data-driven industries in my ultimate data roadmap. Technical skills alone don't mean anything. Just like domain knowledge alone is not that powerful. That's why learning both and learning both really well is super important in my opinion. And also the reason why I have not just the technical skills modules covering Excel, SQL, Power BI, Tableau, and Python in my roadmap, but also soft skills, stakeholder management skills, and domain knowledge. All right, just a super quick plug here. If you've gained any value out of this video or any of my content so far, can I please ask you three simple favors? One, can you please subscribe if you haven't already done so? It helps the channel more than you know, and as the channel grows, I promise to make even better, even more educational, even more practical content. Two, if you're after the complete data package to get your data job, then check out my ultimate data portfolio and all of the bonuses that come with it. Three, I provide even more applicable, detailed, and hands-on data analysis content for the truly committed ones on my Patreon. Please have a look if you think you're one of those truly committed data people. And that's it. Back to pure knowledge, now with another practical example. So 
let's say you're a financial analyst, which is very close to my heart, given that I've worked in banking ever since I started my career. So say your current role involves evaluating investment opportunities, assessing um, financial performance and making recommendations to investors and stakeholders. You have a regular pattern of reporting, whether that's weekly, monthly or um, whatever, quarterly, and you're looking for a way to automate the data cleaning and manipulation processes. You could explore learning a coding language like Python to help you speed up those repetitive workflows and free up your time to do the real value add analysis, which is to interpret the insights and develop recommendations and next steps. If you can be the financial analyst who's amazing at using Excel and can also do some data manipulation in Python, that will surely set you apart from the crowd, right? Just imagine all the tedious data cleaning and reporting processes you could automate with really just some basic Python libraries. If you spend some time learning just the basics, I mean the true basics, so think of the pandas, the numpy, the matplotlib, and the seaborn libraries, that's all you need really. And by the way, you guys have been asking me in the comments whether DataCamp is a legit platform to learn anything on really, and I can confirm that it definitely is. I recently started a partnership with them as I genuinely believe that their tracks, their courses, their uh, certifications, they're good. So feel free to check them out. I do recommend DataCamp. I used it before and yeah, it's just a good platform to learn on. So now that I gave you a couple examples of the diverse roles that involve working with data on a daily basis, here's the key takeaway. The key takeaway is that if you're looking to break into the world of data careers, do not limit yourself to the title of data analyst. It is what it is, just a title. It's meaningless. Being a data analyst doesn't make you great at data analysis. You know what makes you great at data analysis? learning data analysis skills. Skills are transferable, job titles are not. Use your domain expertise, your critical thinking, along with your data analysis skills to unlock your full potential in any industry. And now let me just touch on those data analysis skills. Start with Excel and SQL. That's what I always say. They're the most popular tools out there and mastering these will give you an extremely strong starting point on which you can build your entire data career. Focus on advanced functions and formulas, shortcuts to speed up your workflow, um, pivot tables, pivot charts when it comes to Microsoft Excel and focus on queries that help with extracting and analyzing data in SQL rather than queries tailored to create and alter databases. Unless you're a data engineer, it's highly unlikely that you'll be asked to do data modeling and uh, database building and managing databases, which is why I always suggest you spend your time wisely and efficiently on data analysis SQL queries. Course careers have a great data analytics course where you can learn Excel, SQL and um, Tableau as well. I know there are so many courses out there, so if you already have to pick one, make sure you pick a good one. I wouldn't have partnered with them for months now if I thought their courses were not of high quality. But anyway, let's move on to programming languages, and I'll only provide two options here, R and Python. And now that I think about it, let me just give you one option instead, Python. R is not bad. But Python is more popular and in my opinion, a more powerful, better all-rounder coding language. When you learn Python, please make sure that you don't go away and do endless general programming tutorials. I've done that before and wasted at least six months of my life learning coding skills that I would never ever use in data analytics. I coded up rock, paper, scissors games, dice throwing games, and guess what? Most things I learned coding up those games, I couldn't actually apply in my job because I am not a software engineer and will never be a software engineer. So focus on Python libraries made for data analysis, such as the pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and seaborn libraries. And then if you're into machine learning, try scikit-learn and scipy. Now, I just realized actually that I didn't talk about a super important tool 
which is data visualization tools. So sure, Excel has some pretty advanced data visualization capabilities, but nowhere near as good as the tools specifically made for this purpose when it comes to user interaction with the visuals and dashboards. Imagine if you've already put in so much hard work to extract, transform, and analyze your data, but your final output simply looks rubbish. I can guarantee that you will struggle to get and retain the attention of your audience and ultimately struggle with getting your main messaging across. In my opinion, visualization tools are the most bang for buck data analysis tools as it's crucial to produce eye-catching, aesthetic and meaningful visualizations. I would urge you to add a visualization tool like Tableau or Power BI to your data analysis toolbox. I'm only mentioning these tools here because even though there are so many out there, Tableau and Power BI are by far the most popular ones. So don't go away and learn something super niche, just go with something that most companies already use. All right, um, let me just close with a story from my career to prove my point on how anyone can become great at analyzing datasets. So I remember when I first started my career, I had zero technical skills involving data analysis. I have a master's degree in finance and economics, which gave me extremely strong foundations in math, statistics, finance, and banking. But I must admit that I really struggled to apply my knowledge initially, as I simply did not know how to use the data tools at work. All of the technical skills I have, I learned by myself and through hands-on experience whilst working, which just goes to show that if I could do it, you can definitely do it too. I'm by no means a genius. I'm simply someone who was willing to put in the hours consistently for years to get to where I want to be. Consistency is key. And let me just say this again. Consistency is key. Consistency negates talent. Consistency beats talent. The reason I strongly urge you to become proficient in various data analysis tools is not because you need to be the best at Excel, SQL, Tableau, Power BI, or Python, but because Having the confidence that you can implement and build solutions will give you such a boost when it comes to your professional growth. You'll notice throughout your career that people who can talk the talk and walk the walk, as in people who can come up with the solutions and build those solutions using their technical expertise, these people are highly valued at any organization. And I'm afraid I'm gonna have to end it here for now. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe. Check out my data package on my website that will help you get your data job at mochan.info and go to my Patreon for even more detailed and hands-on data analysis content. Thank you so much for taking just a little time out of your day to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.